But first, intense winds didn't stop more than 100 people from turning out for the opening ceremony at New Mexico's second state-run veterans cemetery. News 13's Stephanie Chavez was at the event in Gallup and explains why this Memorial Day marked a big moment for local families. With the wind blowing strong, veterans and their families gathered at the new State Veterans Cemetery in Gallup, New Mexico to honor our fallen heroes. And celebrate the completion of the long-awaited graveyard where service members can be buried with honors. And these are hallowed grounds now, no question. The cemetery will be the final resting place for hundreds of veterans from Gallup and the surrounding areas. We need it here as we do in the east part of the state, southern part of the state, and the northern part of the state. Previously, families would have to drive hours to visit their loved ones' graves at the national cemeteries in Santa Fe or Fort Bayard, or more recently, the new state cemetery at Fort Stanton. But now... If they bury their loved ones here, they will be close to home and not have to drive around the state to be with them. Gallup Mayor Jackie McKinney says he's been anticipating this moment for more than 15 years. His dad, a veteran, is buried at the National Cemetery in Arizona. I'm thinking about reinterring my dad out of a national cemetery and bringing him here back home. He says it's clear the locals appreciate the opening because just like soldiers, they weathered today's storm to acknowledge how important the new burial place is. If you're a veteran, you've been through it all anyway, so this is just a little wind. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. The cemetery already has at least 50 applicants for internment. In addition to Gallup and Fort Stanton, the state also has plans to add two more veteran cemeteries in Angel Fire and Carlsbad.